Hello, everyone. It's time. I ordered this really cool Holy Bro development kit two months ago, but I've been traveling, going to a lot of military and aerospace conferences. So I haven't had time to sit down and put it together. So I am gonna split this video into four, three or four sections, cause there's a few parts to it. I'm gonna put together the frame and then start to put together some of the components, the motors, power distribution board. We have the flight controller. And then we also have GPS and telemetry. I'll show you all the components. This kit, I think it costs around $500. And then if you add on additional pieces, the total is around seven or $800. It's a great project if you're trying to teach students or teenagers how to build drones. A lot of the components are partially put together already. So that helps. And they even have them labeled to try to eliminate the mistake of connecting the wrong component with the wrong motor. So let's get started. If I move my flight sim to the side so we can make room for this. It came in this box. I think it was shipped from a location in Asia. I'll double check on that. But it took about, about two weeks to get it. So as you see, um, because you know on quadcopters, the motors are moving opposite directions to eliminate that equal and opposite reaction from Newton's law. Um, and so these motors actually turn to the left while these turn to the right. You have your GPS module here. And then it all, they all have their different um, connections for them and holders. There's wiring here. This is the flight controller. It's a Pixhawk 6C. And as you can see, it has a connection for GPS, USB, telemetry. There's several different connections that just plug right in there. So you have a lot of cables here that they gave you for that. Um, this is the power distribution board to distribute power to the different motors and components. These are your telemetry radios. And as you see, these are your antennas. It says 433 megahertz for the frequency. Um, and then here's the propellers, as you see. They make it so that you don't put it in the wrong location. But you have the ones with the black top and then with the gray. And so that's, so you put them in the right place. This is part of the frame. And then also part of the frame here as well. That's the entire kit. And then once we put it together, um, we'll download Mission Planner and uh, RG Pilot. We'll use those for the interface and then we'll have to probably use, see if this <laughs> controller, if we can um, program this to run it. If not, we can also run it through the computer as well. So, all right, the final piece, we've got a, some tools here to help us put all this together. It looks like they gave us uh, some different screws and there's a few tools that are included with the kit, but if we need some extras, I've got a, a few here that we can work with and then we can even use this for testing as well. So, all right, let's get started. The first video is the frame. All right, the first two steps are pretty straightforward. They want you to uh, take, there's two plastic pieces, they call them socket caps. And they just want you to attach them to the end of each of the motors. There's two of them and you put them on these ends. And then I think you attach them later. The next piece, it says there's a lot of other steps in this first step here. 
but they're actually already done already. All these screws are already assembled, so that's great. Uh, the next step is for the battery mounting board. So basically, there's these uh, rubber pieces, and they want you to attach these to hangers and sidebar clips. Like this, you just insert those, and it gives it a little bit of grip. And then they actually go on to these pieces. So they slide on the end. So there's several of those. I'll assemble those inside and I'll be right back. The next piece was um, to take the battery pad, which is here, and attach it to the hangers. And then these rods. You have two of the gaskets and the sidebar clips on the end so far. And then you use these, um, it said M25 six millimeter sunk screws. And I put it in with the white, there's like a little white um, internal piece. I put it in with that facing upward. And then they give you the tool and the kit to install it. So that's the next piece. And then uh, this is the next part, the platinum board. Um, that attaches to this rod as well. But these gaskets actually go upward. And this attaches on with the same screws. Now we have the battery mount installed on the bar with the gaskets. Get one, two gaskets facing this way, down, and then the other two facing up, holding this piece. And then I installed these eight screws here to hold this on. So the next piece to install, I flip this upside down, and it goes on this side, is the bottom plate. And then the top plate goes on top of that and the motors go in between. For this bottom plate, one thing to be careful of is this other plate on the other side, the battery holder, and then the mount use sunk screw. So there's sunk screw and those are M2s. The bottom plate uses an M3, I'm sorry, a M2, socket screw. So make sure you don't use the wrong screws because you'll end up later in the process and you'll, you won't have the right pieces. So I attached the bottom plate here. That's these one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now it says socket screw M3 and there's eight of them. These are actually going to attach to the legs like that. So that's the next step in the process. But please make sure you pay attention if it says sunk screw, socket screw, and then there's M3s, and they have like a certain amount of millimeters for them. So you don't use the wrong screw and the wrong piece, and then later end up short and have to take things apart. One thing that's really nice when you go through and you're looking for the screws, they label everything. So it says M3 cap screw. And they did the same with these as well. And they tell you how many. So that kind of makes it easier as you're going through looking for all these pieces. All right, it's coming together. So again, you have these eight screws that attach to the bottom here on both sides. And then you um, loosen these components here with one of the tools they give you. And then you just slide in the feet like that. And then make sure you tighten them back up. So, so far that's how it looks. All right, the next piece is this upper plate. Well, this is what we have so far. I'm getting tired and I have to write a paper tomorrow. So let me show you what we have. And for the next video, we'll put on the other components.
It was a little bit tricky getting the um, power distribution board inside. And that's because there's a few sets of screws. So before you put on the top piece and then plug in that distribution board, screw that in. And make sure that uh, you pick the right set of holes. There's like three sets of holes for different distribution boards. I didn't um, tie everything in yet for the arms because I want to make sure everything was connected before I put in that extra effort. Um, and then also, this was a little tricky. I looked on the website, but this arrow here points toward the GPS mount. And then the GPS mount will be here for when you calibrate on RG Pilot, Mission Planner, and the software. And this M1 should match up and so on. I'll tighten all these screws up and then this pig's hawk goes on there as well and all these arrows should be pointing in the same direction for the calibration so they make that really easy for you there's wires here they need to plug in to the flight controller and then you have your antennas for your telemetry radio, the receiver. Again, I had the um, 433 mega, uh, megahertz is what I selected. Next time we meet, we'll continue installation of this X500 V2 by Holy Bro. It's been fun. Have a good night and keep it weird.